When I was doing MBBS long, long ago, so long ago, the difficult thing was getting the resources. You might be a very good student, but the books were very expensive. The standard books are not available. You have to go to very multiple libraries to get the important, the latest updates and everything. But that's not the case for this generation. In this generation, the problem is information abundance. They have everything available at their disposal, be it a book, be it a reference article, be it a journal, be it MCQs, everything is at the fingertips. But what is lacking is someone to guide them from point A to point B. This is what you have to do, this is how you have to use the resources. And in this series of videos, I'm going to help you to navigate the PW Medit app and make the best use of it and to ace your exam, be it your prof, be it your FMG, need PG or INST. I am Dr. Anjit. Let's learn more about pathology, medicine and cracking and competitive exam as a whole, right? So in this video, I'm going to talk about a product which is there in the Medit app called as a QBank. I am sure everyone must have been aware of QBank. But have anyone told you this is the particular reason of a QBank and this is how you have to use it? Please do remember, QBank is not an assessment tool. It might have been shocking for you. What we actually do in QBank is look at the number of corrects, look at the number of mistakes, right? And say that, okay, this QBank, I did this, next QBank, I have to do this. No, that is not the goal of a QBank. The goal of a QBank is a learning tool. So let's see how to go into the QBank and how to make the best use of it, right? So once you go into the Meta app, you have the home screen, then you have the QBank screen. If you click on the QBank, you have all the subjects required for you, be it first prof, second prof, third prof, fourth major and minor. And last but not least, we have a section called Rapid Revision QBank. I'll come to that at the end of the video, especially for someone who's preparing for a NEET PG or an FMG or an INSD, very, very near the exam, fine? So now let's say that, let's take anatomy, fine? Or let's take biochemistry, okay. Okay, let's take biochemistry. You attended the lecture of Jabal Kasar and you have to uh, assess yourself. You, after the lecture, you have a feature called as DPP. I'll talk about that later in one more video. So once you attend the lecture, you understood the concept, you have read the notes. You have to practice, right? There's no goal. If there's no goal set for you, what will you assess for, right? So what we do is, once you're done with it, let's click on it. Let's take it as an amino acid, fine? I've done the amino acid recently, so let's go into it. So this is what I did, okay? So now, next. So you click on the next. Some random question, I don't know the answer, so I'm just going to click it, right? Just fluke also sometimes works. So once you click the QBank, once you answer the QBank, you will have an immediate response. Like I said, it is not an assessment tool. It is a learning tool. What do we mean by that is, I am read a question, I solved a question, immediately I'm having an answer. Okay, this is the reason I did the question wrong. Please don't keep on clicking it. Click, if it's right answer, great, pat yourself. If it's wrong answer, see why it is wrong, right? Just scroll. All the important points will be there for you, right? Whatever important points, look at the beautiful table. This might be a high yield table. The next subsequent questions may be based on this table. So you learn here, subsequent questions you can answer. Like I said, it's a learning tool. It's not an assessment tool, okay? Go down, go down. The best part of PW is this. So if you feel that I am not able to answer the question, I, it's a simple question, no issues for a video solution. If it's a difficult question, I need to understand more about the question. Look at that. Chamal Kasar will explain for you why it's the right answer. If you're a person for you, video stays in your head forever, go with this. If you're a person for you, text stays forever, go with this. Whatever it is, it's there. Again, I'm repeating, it's a learning tool. So once you learn here, then go to the next. Attempt one more, right? This time I'm getting everything right, right? So again, you have all the explanations. The best part is the other options. Why the other options are wrong, okay? So let's say uh, I did this question. I need, uh, it's a good question for me. So I need to maybe revisit later or I'm in a hurry. I don't have enough time for me to go to the video solution or I'm not able to, let's say, uh, read the explanation. I'm in a hurry. I'm just uh, in a Ola Uber. I'm just solving it because I don't want to waste time and Medit can be solved anywhere, right? So I'm going to click bookmark. So once you click the bookmark, it will be automatically bookmarked. We look at the bookmark very, very soon, fine? So then you complete the question, right? So you complete everything, let's say, and you click submit. Okay, you submit the question back, and then, yeah, you want to rate it, you rate it. You get the correct, the incorrect option, the skipped option, the time taken, the completed, and the accuracy. See, everything here is important for you. Correct, incorrect, obviously, you're going to focus on to improve that, right? The time taken, this is very, very important. What generally students perceive is, Faster I am, better I am, never. More correct you are, better you are. The time taken in an average, on an average, and uh, let's say an uh, NEET PG exam will give at least 30 to 45 seconds for a question. Make sure you spend the adequate time from the day one. So 45 seconds is my deadline. So I'll start saying that I need to complete the question. Average time taken is 30 seconds. This is very less. 
which means maybe probably the reason I got so many incorrects is because I'm not spending enough time. So it gives you exactly where you are wrong. If you're conceptually wrong, the videos are there. If you're factually wrong, the explanation is there. And if you are just done it by a mistake, maybe you can leave the table. The other options, you'll be able to understand yourself. If you're wrong just because you're in a hurry, this will tell you. This will tell you exactly why you're wrong. And then next time, the next cue bank when you solve, please make sure that, okay, I was a bit in a hurry last time. Let me spend more time this time and I'll definitely ask the question rightly, fine? Now, let's go back. I'm just going to go back. Uh, before going to go back, let's have a solution. See here, you exactly know the correct options, the incorrect options, skipped options. So if you see that correct options, I need not read again, right? Let me go to incorrect. If you go to the incorrect tab, it'll show what, what are the questions I made a mistake, I made error on, skipped. I didn't uh, write everything, so it's in skipped, right? So skipped could be something which you don't want to attempt or you feel it's very difficult. Incorrect, obviously the wrong one, the correct one, obviously the correct one. Spend more time on this section, the incorrect section, because that's what is going to help you to improve your scores in the subsequent one, right? Done. Let's go back once again. Fine. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back to the biochemistry thing here, right? So the goal is, be it a first year student or a second year student or third prof, our ultimate goal in a competitive exam is to ace the NEET or NEXT or FMG exam, right? So why to wait till the last moment? Anyway, for your first MBBS, you are preparing for your MCQs. What if I can give you a clue saying that in biochemistry, in the topic of amino acid and proteins, these are the PYQs. We are given two places where you can have PYQs, one exactly below the chapter. Why not as a combined PYQ? I'll tell you the reason. The logic is very simple. Why to read the subject first, revise it again, then the last leg, learn PYTs. Why can't I stress the PYTs when I'm learning itself? That's the goal to have the PYQs right below the chapter. I'm reading amino acid and proteins. I'm understanding the concept. If I know, okay, I'm solving the need PG PYQs, 11 of them came in the last three years in amino acid. So I'm just gonna solve it. I know, okay, this is how it is. It's a scenario based question. Maybe it will help me, right? Okay, let me just submit it to just to go back. Again, if, I, if I'm targeting for FMG, I know what has been asked in FMG with respect to amino acid in the past five years. That gives you a very focused approach rather than completing all the subjects and solving biochemistry PYQ. Then you have to write a paper. Okay, these are the questions which came in amino acid. These are the questions which came in carbohydrates or I have to rely on some random un un unimportant sources, right? So here we give everything available for you at the way it has to be given. So when you're reading for the first time, stress on the concepts. When you're revising, stress on the PYTs. So when you're done with the prof, you know what is exactly the screenshot of your anat physio biochem in the NEET exam or next exam, right? That's how we have to go about it. And you do this consistently, slowly and steadily, I am 100% sure you will ace the exam. If you have any more doubts regarding the QBank, how to solve the QBank, put it in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to take your queries. And if you want anything else to guide to your preparation, I'm here as your mentor from the point A to point B, I'll guide you. So now you're done a topic, you have completed a topic and let's say you're reviewing it, right? Let's say it's an uh, incorrect option, uh, amino acid with sulfate group, I made a mistake. It's okay, genuine to make a mistake, right? So that's where I want you guys to use the Q, uh, bookmark option. Bookmark is something which is very, very important. Please don't bookmark everything. It's like you must have studied in your exam, your entire book will be red color, green color, yellow color. So you don't know which is the key point. Bookmark is a very special feature. I want you to use for something which you think that, okay, after some time, I will come back and look at this, right? Bookmark it. So if, I, if whenever you feel that, yes, I made a mistake here, it's a conceptual mistake. Maybe during revision, I have to revisit them. Or during my internal exam, this might come. It's a mistake for me, I should look at them. This was asked in the Viva. I saw it, I made a mistake here. I made a mistake again in Viva bookmark it so that you don't make the mistake again, right? So once you have bookmarked it, the beautiful feature of Medit is you go into the bookmark section of the app, it'll be categorized as per the topic. Let's say if I bookmark something on biochemistry, actually I have bookmarked two questions in biochemistry, right? It actually can filter them as per the 
chapters. Both of the bookmarks are in amino acid chapter. Yeah, let's say there are multiple chapters of the bookmarks, you know. So it exactly gives you an understanding of, okay, amino acid has two bookmarks, carbohydrates are zero. So which means I'm confident about carbohydrate. You know that which is a strong area, you know that which is a weak area. Because only the bookmarks will guide you kind of a screenshot to say overall preparation or overall weak and strong assessment area, like a heat map for your preparation, fine. Okay, that's one. Okay, then you can sort it by latest, oldest, you can sort it by modules as well. If you bookmark something on the Q bank, it appears that if you bookmark something on the DPP or the test, right? So everything will be categorized as per your convenience, as per your usage. And whenever you feel free or you're bored, like, oh, Instagram is very boring. Let's go and have a look at PW bookmarks. No, let's learn something. Instead of swiping randomly, aimlessly at some random person singing some song, swipe this, learn, and let's improve. That's it.